Hi, my name is Allison Streeter. I've got a show down at the Winchester Cultural Center here in Las Vegas, Nevada. My show is called Blinded Awoken, and uh, it is about uh, several pieces I'd worked on when I was going to school at UNLV, and then uh, I finished a majority of the pieces last year. Um, they're all kind of based around a lot of uh, introspection and uh, some self-help that I'd gone through through some depressive droughts, you know, post-graduation and uh, enduring. And so they all kind of touch base on some topics that I think are important. I started one a very long time ago and her, her eyes were creepy. And so I covered her eyes up. And, uh, and I continued to do more of them because I liked the aesthetic that I was going for. You know, it was uh, when you blindfold them, it, uh, it holds a lot of symbolism, but I felt like for me it kind of allowed um, an outsider to put themselves into her shoes because she no longer had an identity. You know, it's amazing how different the faces look when you cover their eyes up and when you, you know, move whatever I had over their eyes back to see their eyes, they, their face completely changes, so I thought that, that was really interesting. Um, but then blinded ended up being symbolic for you know, some of the issues that I touch base on as far as people being blinded to, you know, various things. Awoken, um, I feel like I've learned a lot, you know, through, through asking hard questions and, you know, digging deep into my own insecurities and figuring out why I have these insecurities. And I feel like that's what Awoken kind of symbolizes for me, is a, a turning point in my life. And I felt like it was time to, to move on past these girls that I take out of magazines and maybe use images of myself um, in my artwork. And uh, that, was, that was actually pretty difficult. There's a lot of uh, vulnerable steps in taking pictures of myself and deciding to put them on canvases to display to people, you know. Self-doubt, um, the one here with the arms coming out. You know, I think, I think everybody's had self-doubt in their life for various things, you know. Self-doubt for all kinds of stuff, like personal goals or self-doubt with uh, how to raise kids or how to make a decision at work or a decision in, you know, schooling or anything. The magazine, it's a, a clothing and like home magazine that I'm very fond of. I love the look and the feel of it, but the items are just way too expensive. So I just started to collect all these catalogs because they're so beautiful. And then uh, I decided to use those for all of these collages um, because I got to use them. You know, it was, I didn't really get to have anything out of them. You know, I couldn't buy the dresses or the jewelry or any of that stuff, but I got to make other beautiful things. That those were things that I wanted to obtain, but, but through um, all the self-work and all these things I find, you know, uh, personal happiness is much more important than monetary things. You know, I'm very simple and, uh, I like to get my clothes from like savers and, and places like that and I still think that you can like have uh, an aesthetic look but it doesn't need to be like an $800 dress or you know those things aren't very important. But I don't want to use canvases that are just white. I know how to build canvases, I, you know I was taught that but I don't, I don't prefer to use those things. I'd rather use something that has much more character and has a story kind of behind it. Um, it's almost like a... I don't know, I feel like I'm adopting it or something, you know? Um, and I find these things in dumpsters and alleys. Um, my dad is a craftsman as well, and uh, he buys Gregor boats and he refinishes them and um, makes them look brand new. And they have wooden seats inside of them that he'll take out and I'll keep those usually. And I, I like to repurpose those because they have layers of paint that's been worn down with like, fish guts and scratches and you know just like a it has a story I, I like that kind of nostalgic feel so go ahead and come on down here it's up until may 15th their hours uh they're open until eight o'clock tuesday through saturday
hope you come down and check it out. Thanks.